Okay, I'm going to show you guys a trick on how to solve these conversions with different types of concentration units. So a little trick you can do is to set up a table where on the left side you put moles, grams, and liters. So we're going to set up a little table here. And then along the top, we're going to label it solute. And then we're gonna have solvent. And then we're gonna have solution. So I'm gonna abbreviate SOLN. Okay. And we're gonna take whatever information we already have given to us and we're gonna plug it into this table. So I have 2.56 grams of malic acid. So that is the solute. I'm gonna put that in right here. Whoops, in grams, 2.56 grams. Let me get rid of that. Okay. And then um, this is 500 grams of water. That is a solvent. So I know how many grams of water that I have, okay? And since the density of water is one gram per milliliter, that also means that we have 0. 0.5000 liters of solvent. It also means we have 502.56 total grams of solution. And so we filled in with everything we already know. Now for moles, all we have to do is convert 2.56 grams of malic acid, which is C4H6O5, to moles. Set up your fence. One mole of malic acid is 134.10 grams. And we get 0 0.0191 moles. So put that in here, 0, 0191. And then for solvent, we have 500 grams of water. And I'm gonna set this up. One mole of water is 18.02 grams. And that gets us 27.7. Okay, so that gets us 27.75 moles of water so I'm going to fill that in and my solvent moles so 27.75 then to get the total moles of solution I just add my solute plus the solvent and we get 27.77 total moles okay um, so what we can do is now use this information right here to plug into the different formulas Actually, we can go ahead and get our liters of our solution here as well. Since we're assuming that the density of the solution is the same as the density of the water, we can use the one gram per milliliter. If a different density was given, then you would need to use that other density. So since we have a total of 502.56 grams of solution, I can set up a fence and say one gram is equal to one milliliter. And then I can say um, that there are a thousand milliliters in one liter, and we get 0 0.50256 um, 5, 0 0.50256 um, liters of solution. So I'll fill fill that in right here. Okay. So now we can go ahead and start putting this into the formulas, okay? So we're going to start with molarity, that is moles of solute per liters of solution. So I can actually go here and just say, okay, I need moles and I need liters of solution. So these are the two numbers that I will need to solve for molarity. So 0 0.0191 divided by 0 0.50256 liters, and that's moles of solute per liters of solution, okay? And when you do that, we should get 0 0.0380 molar C2, or sorry, C4, H5, H6, Oh, five. Okay, so that's the molarity. Now, molality, a little m, is equal to 
the moles of the solute. So I'm gonna maybe pick a little different color here. So I need molal molality, I need moles of solute per kilograms of solvent. Okay. Well, I have the 500 grams, and that's really easy to convert from grams to kilograms. Just move your decimal point, you know, one, two, three times to the left, and now I've got kilograms. Okay, so molality I'm doing in, in uh, pink. Molarity I, I circled in um, green. Okay, so let's go ahead and solve for this. So we have um, 0 0.0191 moles of solute per 0.5000 kilograms of solution and we get 0 0.0382 molal m-o-l-a-l of c4h6o5 and now if we want to do mole fraction pick a different color for that i need moles of the solute per moles of solution the total so x of C4H6O5 is equal to moles of the solute, 0 0.0191, per moles of the solution, 27.77. Okay, and this is going to end up unitless. Okay? And so when we divide that, we get 6.88 times 10 to the negative fourth, because it's a ratio of C4H6O5 of malic acid, okay? So I circled what I needed in blue for that one. Okay, now the last one, I will do that one in purple, and this is for percent by mass. So I, this time I actually need grams. I need grams of the solute per grams of solution, okay? So percent by mass, I need 2.56 grams per 502.56 grams of solution times 100 for a 0.509% C4H6O5 solution. And I underlined that one in purple. So as you can see, um, kind of the hardest part of figuring out what to plug into the formulas to solve for these different concentration units is just figuring out exactly what numbers do I need. I think organizing it in this table becomes really helpful because you can fill in with what you know and then solve for what you don't know and then go back and find, okay, if I'm solving for molality, I need moles of the solute and I need kilograms of solvents. You can just find what you need from that table. Okay.